so what was the original brief that you got from NAB in regards to well, when did, when you jumped on board? Did you see the original? Brief yeah. So NAB? yeah, I've been across it from the beginning. So um, I guess I don't know how familiar you guys are with uh, the breakup campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so where breakup campaign came from was um, fair value banking, um, and what NAB was actually trying to communicate to people was that you know they had kind of revamped all their products. Uh, to be more fair, so if it was from transaction accounts to being no monthly account fees ever to credit cards just being very transparent, um, it was kind of a shift in terms of how banks were talking about their actual products. And what the challenge was to us was um, with the Honesty campaign was to find a campaign that kind of laddered up to that and talked about credit cards within the context of breakup campaign so how do we talk about credit cards in terms of fair banking and NAB's very much so centered on more give less take um, so how do you talk about credit cards uh, so that was kind of the brief hey guys more give less take how do you take something that's very disparate like credit cards yeah. that seems like something that's really trying to take money from a lot of people and how do you bring that under the more give less take banner and create a unique platform for it so that's kind of where the Odyssey campaign kind of came from, but yeah, that was the initial brief. It's, here's your brief. How many, how many pitches did it take to get NAB on board with the Odyssey experiments? Yeah, so it was one. one. Uh, so there was a brief, two weeks, uh, presentation of Odyssey experiments. Uh, here's the different Odyssey experiments I actually want to do, and then it was just refined. Uh, it was a ballsy move on the agency's part, um, and then it actually kind of paid off and that sometimes when you give your client one idea that they really believe in, it kind of narrows down. You know, if you give them five, six, seven ideas, a lot of times you'll find you try to mix and match. So they'll take, oh yeah, we love idea number one, idea number seven. And then you've got to find some way to make and then we would yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. yeah. So, so did the, from, from the break for the, um, for the rewards, for the honesty rewards, how, how long did that, uh, that take from getting the brief to putting it, pitching it to, you know, put the whole way across? So we're talking honesty experiments or like the evolution of it? The evolution of it. In specifically, the um, uh, shouldn't go unrewarded. Okay, right. So, going through the ball. so the unique thing where we had where um, honesty shouldn't go unrewarded, that came out of a very unique brief in that we had the honesty platform that had been established through the honesty experiments. How do we evolve that past? just what we'd done previously and there was the launch of the flybys rewards cards and I think we had already proven that Australians are an honest lot so it was kind of flipping it a little bit and saying you want to know what we know on Australians are an honest lot but they deserve a card that rewards them mm -hmm. and that's where we got the rewards angle from so that's where you saw the honesty experiments or the honesty rewards experiments in the actual shopping center itself where okay. Australians were picking up glasses and returning the lost and found and going, we're actually rewarding them. So it was kind of, that was the bit of the evolution of the actual campaign itself. Um, the difficulty with that brief was, um, it was how do we evolve the Honesty platform, but at the same time pulling rewards and this new kind of rewards flybys bit. So it adds that extra yeah. layer. So it's, we've already proven Australians are on the slot. How do we then show that Australians are still on this by returning sunglasses and still reward them in the end and then give them a credit card that rewards them for their honesty? Um, so that's kind of where that bit came from, is that we needed to establish what the platform was and maintain that platform and reinforce what we had done previously. And at the same time, from a creative perspective, it was we'd already established that kind of real life kind of um, hidden camera uh, from the yeah. breakup campaign and that's where you'll see the continuity yeah. from honesty experiments and honesty shouldn't go rewarded if we had stepped away from that same type of treatment that same type of kind of uh, angle that we took in it it was departing from what people had already established as this is very much so now at that and i think everybody seemed to find knowing about the mics they, yeah. they didn't understand about the you know the, were they were they mic'd up it's a fake why are NAB being honest, you know, the, themselves about it? That, yeah. that was one thing that I thought, oh, maybe if they did like little establishment charges, when, they, when they're when they setting everything up, if they showed like a, a mic hidden away somewhere, yeah. then that would have completely eliminated See, it. I think that's the great thing about the ads though, is that there's a lot of debate up to mm. whether or not we staged it, yeah. whether or not it was real people. And I think that's the great part about it, is that 
we're being really honest in terms of rewarding with honesty, but at the same time, it's everyone kind of takes their own little bit of yeah. the ad, and I don't think we need to be that that direct. I don't think we need to actually come out and say, yeah, here's how we went and did it. I think that that's kind of the, that, yeah. that nice little bit yeah. that's there. Well, it gets a conversation. Right, and whether or not you believe Australians are an honest lot, I think that opens up the debate to everyone. Mm -hmm.